welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solid works for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solid works hi today i am going to explain how to create an extruded cut on a curved surface here i am going to explain four different ways to create the cutout so i created a component bean shape and i have created a inclined plane and I created a sketch on it now i am going to create cutout with this surface first option is a simple one simply we need to select this sketch extrude cut and we have to create offset from the surface select the surface keep it in front view and flip the direction see here see there is an offset i can change the value of 5 mm for example see there is an offset inside so we have to select offset surface and we have to give the value so desired depth and say okay see here the cutout is created with a certain depth next option is using surface select a surf this surface go to offset surface say 5 mm see it is in outward we have to flip the direction so it is inside so it is moving inside say okay now similarly we have to select extruded cut select this sketch and select up to surface and select this offset surface okay. you can see in front view in wireframe so it is moving inside say okay say here so it is a similar cutout instead of uh, offset surface in the feature itself we are creating a offset surface offset the extruded cut feature third option is when we use cut option when we need depression in the in the surface with small depth then what we have to do is go to surface module go to feature select split line select this sketch and this face now select this face 
go to surface module select offset surface so it is moving upward simply give the value zero value now select this offset surface and select thicken cut check the direction the cutout is in opposite direction or see here change the value to 2 mm see here it is moving upward so we have to flip the direction if i keep in this direction also it is moving upward so flip the direction so automatically creating inside so you can see this preview is inside say okay so the cutout is created now i am going to create one more option see earlier i have created an offset surface split this split at this surface and create an offset surface i am going to create one more offset surface with a 3 mm inside so one is exactly at this phase and one is offset inside by 3 mm so now i am going to hide this solid body see here so two surfaces have been created now now i am going to create composite curve say okay one more composite curve on the other face so here we have to create two offset surfaces then we have to create lofted surface using these two composite curves select this so okay here we have to knit the surfaces all the four surfaces so it's better to select from the surface body folder so select 1 2 and 3 say okay so now one single surface has formed now so in the knit surface we have an option create solid body and merge entities select these two to make the solid now this is a solid body see here see two different solid bodies so i am going to unhide the initial one now what we have to do is 
go to insert feature combined here we have to select subtract subtract and the main body is this body and the second one select from the solid bodies and say ok and I am going to hide all planes and sketches see here now the material has been removed from the initial loft surfaces so these are the four methods to create an extruded cut and curved surface thanks for watching